in question number six, four points are given. Are the vertices of parallelogram? So they have already told us that it is a parallelogram, and we need to find the value of x and y. So as they have told us that it is a parallelogram, so we have to use the properties of parallelogram. Can you tell me what are the different properties of parallelogram? Okay, opposite sides are parallel and uh, diagonals bisect each other. Opposite sides are parallel and equal also. Diagonals, yeah, equal also. And okay, diagonals bisect each other. So we are not talking about angles because in this chapter there is no use of angles. Yeah. Yes. So diagonals bisect each other. Yes. So to be frank, this particular question can be solved using uh, more than one method. So I'm going to choose a easier method. Diagonal bisect each other. I'm going to use this information over here. So let us try to understand what does it mean. So this is a diagonal over here, and this is a diagonal, and this is the intersection point O. Let's say. So diagonal bisect means A O equals to O C. We know this thing. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. A O is equals to O C. So therefore, can I say that the ratio is one is to one? So how yes. do we write thing in your in the exam? So bisect means equal parts, which means ratio is one is to one. Remember this thing. Ratio is one is to one. Okay. Now, as yes, diagonals bisects each other, we have to write this thing. Therefore, AO equals to OC. Therefore, AO is to OC is equals to one is to one. Yes, two. Make sense? Ratio is one is to one. Yes. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this particular line and draw a rough figure over here so that I can use it. So I'm taking a point, c point, and in the middle, o point. So a point is one comma two, c point is x comma six, and over here, um, I need to find the coordinates x comma y. So I'm taking this x. Okay. So already x is there. Yes. So what I'm going to do to avoid the confusion, I'm going to take this as capital X, capital Y. Make sense? So my o coordinate is capital X, capital Y. Is this thing clear? Yes. So ratio is one is to one. Now, as you can see, I have x value over here. I don't have x value. I don't have x value. So please do not take x. Okay. So over here, y value is there, y value is there. I can find out this particular y. From this AC line, I'm going to find out the y value of point O. So I'm going to take okay. section formula. I'm going to use section formula basically. So for point y, so y coordinate basically. So y would be one yeah. multiplied by two, y. one y multiplied by six, one plus one. one, plus one. So one uh, y value would be two plus six plus two. Please do not take small y. Y equals to eight upon two, which is four. four. So I got the value as four. So this is the first four. thing. Okay. Now similarly, similarly, I will be taking now DC. So DB. Okay. Okay. Let me just draw DB for myself to avoid going back and just copying this thing. Yeah. There it goes. So what I'm going to do? Take DB. Yes. From DB. So this is my point D, this is my point B. So D point is three comma five and B point is four comma Y. Okay. And my point O, again, one is to one. And this is X comma Y. X comma one, four. Four now. X comma four, okay. Yes. X comma four. Now this time again, I will be using a section formula. This time I can take for X. X, yes. Okay. So that would be one multiplied by three, one multiplied yes. by four. Oh, it? One multiplied by three plus one multiplied by four upon one plus one. So x value would be seven upon two. Clear? Yes. So you can write three point five or seven upon two. Now for x. Sorry, y. This thing. Through this, I can find out this y value. Can you see that on the right hand side? Yes. Yes. So y value is what? Four. So I'm going to replace four. this thing by four. Four equals to. 1 multiplied by 5, 1 multiplied by y. y. Now this time, I'm taking small y. Can you see that? I'm taking small yes. y. For this one. 1 plus 1. So I'll just shift this thing to the other side. It will become uh, 2. 2 into 4 is 8. 8 equals to 5 plus y. So my y value is 3. Okay. Yes. Now, my capital X value, which is the point O, is 7 upon 2. So I can go back over here and replace this thing by 7 upon 2. Okay. Okay. Yes. And again, I will do the same thing. 7 upon 2 equals to 1 into 1 plus 1 into x upon 1 plus 1. I'll shift this thing to the other side. So 7 upon 2 into 2, 1 plus x. So this is getting cancelled. So 7 minus 1 equals to x. So 6 is the small x value. Small x. So I guess the question was what is the x value and what is the y value? Isn't yes. it? What is the find the x and y value? So my x value is 6 and y value is 3. 
Not any. How was the question? Easy, difficult? Uh, it was okay. Okay. So this can yeah. be done using a uh, distance formula also, but uh, I prefer this thing. It's a shorter method. In distance formula, if you do it, then it will be like too many equations will be formed and elimination method will have to be used. So prefer this thing. Quickly take a screenshot so that you can copy it. Huh?